Hey, good morning, all you wonderful people. I'm Surreal Canine. We're back with more Disguise 4 Promise Revisited. The last set of character demos we did were, uh. Uh, why is this formatted like that? Whatever. <laughs> we're getting distracted here. Last set of character demos we did were the, uh, high tier generic humanoid classes. Which means. This time, we are doing monsters. It's pretty great. Now, it should be mentioned that it is impossible for monster units to learn, uh... To learn, uh, weapon skills, unless you do something weird like, uh, make a humanoid first, teach them the skills, and then reincarnate them as a monster. That is a thing you are allowed to do in this game, and it is pointless to do. So, we've got ten monster classes here for you now. Uh... To unlock any of these guys, you just have to kill them once. Simple enough. I'm going to be going through them, therefore not in unlock order, which uh, can vary depending on when you decide to go crazy in the item world. I am going to uh, do them by level up tiers, same as with uh, the humanoids. First up, we have everyone's favorite dudes. The Prinnies, and wow, I really should have gotten some uh, water before I started. Yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna do that. Be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. A thing has been done. So yeah, Prinnies. They magic change to bows. Uh, you know, they're everybody's favorite dude. Uh, they explode when thrown. That is the uh, Prinnies' most unique feature. It has been in place even since Disgaea 1, which did not have these, uh, these class-based abilities. Uh, you can see that their uh, aptitudes are pretty well-rounded. I mean, they're more physical than magical, but, I mean, so what? <laughs> as, for their, uh, as for their main abilities, we've got Explosive Nature, already described it. One Hell, which uh, makes their healing fee at the infirmary almost zero, so it uh, becomes really cheap to just use them as bombs if you really want. Degraded life increases mana gain by 100% when depraved. Not really sure what the point of that would be, uh, considering managers are pretty easy to come by. Voluntary bondage increases the XP gain by 100% when paralyzed. That doesn't sound very useful to me either. You'd like have to make them part of a tower attack or something, wouldn't you? Actually, wait, no. I think paralysis only keeps guys from moving. It doesn't keep them from attacking. All right, whatever. <laughs> Let's go to the arena and see what is up. See how much dude our pretty dude can do. Eska, you know she's been with us since the uh, since the very start of the game. I haven't had that much of a use for her uh, though, other than uh, j just bouncing everybody six tiles away. Prinnies are good at that. Brandy, dude. Next up, Pretty Barrage, which uh, does not hit exactly two tiles away, it hits four tiles away. 
or it hits up to four tiles away, rather. A bit, a good bit less limited than the, the Disgaea 1 version, that's for sure. Next up, Volcanic Prinny. Great for releasing stress, it says. It's fire type, which means, uh, not much in this case. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even kill the original Prinny, which is uh, pretty good. It's more than can be said for their third skill in Disgaea 1. Or was it their fourth? Anyway. Prinny Fusilade. I think that's how you pronounce that. If not, then go ahead and write about it in your blag. Got a star element, S power, so uh, yeah, as far as monsters go, that's pretty good. It turns out you can really be the hero. <laughs> but we are not quite done with our pretty yet. Let's uh, take him back into the place. That chicken feed in my Let eye because I you. only woke up like an hour ago. Let's magic chain and see what is up. <laughs> Look at this crazy nonsense. That is what a printy bow looks like. Bomb Trio causes forgetfulness. Are we going to see that wash tub again? <laughs> Mario confirmed. Finally, trick or bomb, sea level, star power. Mm, that's something, I guess. Da, 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 Luigi. See? See? <laughs> I called that! <laughs> I didn't think it would be there, but I totally called that! It's a, uh, it's a Japanese children's show, a little bit like Sesame Street, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That, that's really great. Um, okay. Oh yeah, uh, Prinnies. They also learned the target lock spell. Okay? Okay. And, uh, before I forget... The these seven monsters will level up at le will uh, class up at levels 15, 40, 80, 160, 320, okay? Same as the default humanoids. Anyway, moving on. We have a spooky ghost. He's very spooky. He magic changes to staff and ghosts are all about just uh, keeping the magic flowing. They learn up to six tiers of fire spells. As you can see, uh, they are very magically oriented monsters. Uh, so give them the give them a gray monster weapon, not a red. This is their abilities: magic creation, which uh, gives them permanent SP regen. It's pretty great. Spiritual wave uh, apparently doubles damage against uh, amnesiac enemies. Mind Focus adds a bit of your res to your int when a monster weapon is equipped. That's pretty neat, I guess. I mean, uh, it could be better used on a healer, but we do have a healing monster coming up in this video. 
Grudge time. Int increased by 50% when your own HP is critical. Pretty sweet. Let's take him into the battlefield and see what's up. I did not give this guy a voice. <laughs> anyway. Got these. Uh, not quite as good as the printy, but they're magical at least, and they give status effects. Tie down! Look at that range. That's like gun range. Same thing Ghosts have always been able to do. At least since uh, Disgaea 2, when it was a major problem in the, in the training map. <clears throat> Wraith Orb! Fire type, looks depraved. Ignis Fatus. Again, write about it in your blag. Uh, fire type. Again. Okay. Pack Ghost Chaser. I call dibs on Clyde. So yeah, ironically, it is the ghost doing the waka waka. I guess you could call that irony. I don't know. <laughs> Let's check out his magic change skills. Torres, get out here. Let's magic change. And sweet. X Dimension Wonder. Oh no. It's the X Dimension. Reverse, reverse Portal Accelerator. That's something, I guess. Also, wow, Valva Torres, can you not kill everybody while I'm trying to demo stuff? Bomb Bomb Box. X shaped area effect here. Oh, bomb. Write about it in your block. It's a kitty! Where did the kitty come from? Kitty was a distraction! I have the car! Alright. <laughs> Putting a sweet bro and hello Jeff aside for the moment. It's a kitty! Kitty, 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 kitty. Everybody likes a kitty. Mysterious cat like creature soothes enemies with its cuteness. Meow. So yeah, kitties are physical monster units. Uh, pretty high speed there. Yeah, I can get behind that. Calming Aura halves the damage taken from monsters. Pretty cool. Cat Step gives a 50% chance to evade if on a higher height than your attacker. Trick Move uh, increases the eva your evasion bonus by moved panels times 10%. I could see that being used in a couple places, like, for example, on a masked hero. Something to consider. And rapid move increases move by two when you're at max SP. So, uh... Pretty much for the first turn if you're leveling up every time you kill something. <laughs> Let's take him to the battlefield. Slumber cats, uh 
aka cat sabers. They magic change to guns. Which, given we have had this particular cat since the very beginning of the game, uh, that should not come as much of a surprise. Cat Kick Teaser. Hits right in front of you, uh, no complaints there. Will you guys stop that? Kitty Cat Hoop. Both of these are E-level, apparently. That's something, I guess. The poop and stick. That was, uh, kind of before my time. <laughs> I'm only as old as VHS tapes. I am not as old as a hoop and stick. Sky Surfer. It's Wind Element. Name that tune if you can uh, interpret my ridiculous uh, acapella. Anyway. Bell Volcano. It's S level, so uh, let's see what it does. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Meow. That was a pretty cool combo. Alright, let's, uh... Let's magic change this thingy. So maybe we can even do that without somebody getting killed. Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to triple up this time, I guess. Kitty gun! Pew, pew, pew. It's Fishing Cloud. <laughs> oh no! It's Wishy Washy! <laughs> this came out a good five years before Pokemon Sun and Moon. So who really knows for sure? Go to Hades. And again, uh, claiming you stole from a game that came long after you is uh, kind of part of the joke. Hairball incident. Oh no. Go to Hades. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're just making all the game shout outs today. But yeah, let's uh Let's just deal with these guys and get on with our video game. His HP suddenly went down because the magic change ended. Go figure. Equipment. No. Next up, we have the slime. A staple of JRPGs everywhere. Slimes magic change to spears. Non-magical attacks are useless against them. Or rather, non-elemental attacks. There are a couple of magical, like, special attacks that are non-elemental. Additionally, there are a bunch of, uh, physical attacks that are elemental. Of course, uh, their defense is so high that, um... Their defense is so high that using a magical attack is better at either way. <laughs> but yeah, they take half damage from non-elemental attacks. Poisonous Matter gives a chance to add poison effect to a normal attack. 
Poison Chance uh, doubles the damage to poison targets, and Deadly Poison uh, doubles the poison damage of a poisoned adjacent enemy. So uh, all about defense and poison. They're very much a stall unit. Of course, uh, why you would stall when uh, the poison enemies don't give you EXP when if the poison kills them is beyond me. Let's just take him into battle and see what he can do with his specials. Sadly, unlike in Phantom Brave, you cannot have your uh, tanky units use their defense for an attack. Slimy Punch inflicts poison. Mega Man, what about your message on violence? Oh yeah, stay away from ice cream, it's bad for you. And just making all the shoutouts today. That one was, uh, that one was Bob and George. But enough about Bob and George. Slime Cheer. That sure was a thing that happened. You stop that. You stop that, Mr. Guy! Jelly Fight. Again, inflicts poison. Yep. It's definitely the power of rock, paper, scissors. Muscle Slime. <laughs> oh no, we're playing Cho on Iki again. I have to question what kind of uh, what kind of leaf that is. <laughs> Anyway, that was the slime. Next up, we have a class that's uh, been around since Disgaea 2. Uh, we have the Orc. It's a porky porky orc. I got the wrong thing loaded. Orcs are physical units, as you can see by uh, Esteban's attack here. Uh, they magic change to swords. As you can see, they their highest aptitude is attack, so uh, yeah, they, these guys are pure offense. When you have a lot of orcs on the on the field, all of their stats go same up. That go same up. What is English and how does it affect you? <laughs> As for their other abilities, we have Amnesic Blast, which adds a forget effect to your normal attack. Patience, which do which increase it doesn't double, it increases normal attack damage by 50% at critical HP. And Dark Mastery, which increases aptitudes for monster weapons. Uh, although evidently it's not doing anything. Oh yeah, that's because I don't have a monster weapon for Esteban. <laughs> Derp. Well, whatever. Let's take him to uh, the battlefield. Sadly, you cannot give them a Mexican accent. That was a, a Disgaea 3 thing. <laughs> Mistake Eraser. I like how they just scramble back to the center of their tile afterward. Orc Hero Gas. Ugh. The power of methane, I guess. Inflicts Deprave and Paralyze. It's Wario! Ah! <sighs> 
Yeah, yeah, just keep on punching. You ain't gonna get punched. You're just gonna get punched. Perform the orc weddings and bar mitzvahs. <laughs> Incoming bar mitzvah! Also known as the power of volleyball. Gaia Crush. Ready? <laughs> it's the classic Big Bang. Shove a planet straight into the sun. All I want to know is, who killed the Tree of Life? Oh yeah! We did not uh, do the magic change skills for slimes or orcs. I gotta stop being dumb. Let me show you. Not you. The slime staff, a uh, very unslime like. Wow. <laughs> and of course, uh, since it's a spear, it moves the user. Slime Mega! It looks poison. What's with the glasses? Well, that was a pretty cool fusion type attack, but uh, let's move on to what the orc says. By the way, slimes can learn the poison spell and orcs can learn the braveheart spell. Just go. thought I would let you guys know. Ready? Magic Ready? change! Flying V Strike, the gentlemanly way of punching, inflicts for guilt. <laughs> Hold up the V sign for victory! Go, go, one losing ranger. Or something. Orc 100 Slash. Hey there, everyone, we're playing Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> There's an added explosion for flair. Point. All right. Next up, we have uh, everybody's favorite super annoying dodgy unit, the Mothman. Let's get over here. Uh, you can see that Mothman have an attack range of two. Uh, they're primarily, well, I guess you could make them either, uh, either physical or magical units. They learn the stun spell in addition to their unique skills. They magic change to guns. So yeah, their abilities. Flicker Wing gives them a 50% chance to evade close range attacks, no matter what their speed is. This is why I find them annoying. 
Hypnosis Wave uh, has a 50% chance to inflict sleep with a normal attack. Star-Crossed Fate raises the success rate of ailments by 30%. Evasive Maneuvers increases their move by 3 when their HP is under 25%. Sounds like it could uh, possibly come in handy if you gave a... Uh, We gave a masked hero a weight, uh, put the accelerator back on him, and then uh, forgot to heal him. <laughs> then again, who knows for sure. We uh, saw that we kind of hit up against the movement cat just with the masked hero anyway. Let's take our Mothman to the battlefield and see what he is capable of. Hell's Cocoon inflicts sleep, apparently. An unorganized cocoon. Yeah, yeah, that just kind of fell apart on him. Sonic Wave! Attack zone obstructed, so uh, let's get over here. Goodbye, Sunset. Can I get a shout out to the Pokemon anime? Maybe. But who really knows for sure? Mothman Coaster. He must be this tall to ride and not have a heart condition. We're playing Nights into Dreams! <clears throat> Why is it the monster skills get all the shoutouts? That's what I want to know. This is what the Mothman gun looks like. Moth Barrage! F level, hits three guys. Hey everyone, we're playing Toho! <laughs> Poison Moth. Don't tell anyone we got the idea from a manga. Well, that's just showing off. <laughs> No idea what manga that is a shout out to. Alright, finally, the last monster in the level 1540, etc. tier. It's a shroom! <laughs> Let's see here. Ringies. Magic change to axes, and they release pheromones that weaken women. Why that is a thing, I will never know. Decrease stats of adjacent female enemy units by 20%. Got a... Got some uh, nice physical skills here. Again, attack range is 2. Is not the case for our other monsters. Sh 
shroom pat or soft inspiration cuts your stats in half but fully recovers your hp at the end of the turn punishing punisher doubles damage to depraved targets macho splendor has the damage you take from female units what <laughs> so yeah i don't know why any of this is a thing uh well I guess soft inspiration makes sense for a mushroom, but yeah. It's a weird thing. A ringer jab puts enemies to sleep. Those angry eyebrows. They're pretty cute. The Ringer Punch! Ringer Roll! A deadly blow by a ten-time champion. Let's forget. Look at him, he's just so happy. Mushroom Harvest. Inflicts poison and paralyze. Detonation sign. Mushroom Kingdom. If you know what that is a reference to, then you're as crazy as I am. Magic change. Go to Hades. It's the Shroom Axe. Joe, you can kind of see I taught a Papa Torres a level 9 uh, axe skill while he was in the Kara world. Ferengi Raid. That was a very roundabout attack there. <laughs> Eringer Panic. This is another world competition. Favorite whack a mole. <laughs> All right, got three more monsters here. This time from the twenty. Well, no, we've got two different tiers. Uh, the zombie has a level tier all to himself. He gains a uh, gains class ranks at twenty, fifty, one hundred, two hundred, and four hundred. Zombies are all about just tanking everything. Gain energy by eating others alive. They magic change to bows. Corpse Eater uh, gives them a complete recovery if they kill an enemy with a regular attack. Unholy Talon adds paralysis to a normal attack. Poison Mutilation double. No, it double doesn't. Uh, it increases your own attack by 50% when poisoned. And Darkness Pact uh, turns your zombie into a typical Final Fantasy zombie. They cannot be healed by magic, and their stats go up 30%. Let's 
pick our uh, zombie into the battlefield and see what's up. Not you. For me. Removable skull. It's the same attack they've had for a while. Uh, inflicts poison. Ready for me. You gotta wonder what their head looks like without the skull. <laughs> Zombie tornado. Ready for me. Oh, that's one use for the mummy wrappings, I guess. Hyper zombie inflicts poison. <laughs> That's just silly. Thrill steps. Oh no, it's a Michael Jackson shout out. Get off the stage, Mr. Masked Hero! It's the zombie show! <clears throat> Whoops. Alright, let's magic change and see what else he can do, Mr. Zombie. That's a pretty cool looking bow. Heave shot! Look at that range, that is some powerful range there. It's a drill arrow. That's pretty cool. Or maybe it was a bomb arrow, I don't know. Tomb raiding. Poison. What? <laughs> None of these attacks are just plain incomprehensible. Here, have a pretty. Okay, next up, two monsters from the 25, 60, 120, 240, 480 tier. First up, we have the Flora Beast. <clears throat> uh, these guys are healing monsters. <coughs> they have magic change to stabs, they learn six each of the wind and heal spells, as well as all six uh, stat buffing spells. So yeah, got some uh, very magical monsters here. Go, 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 go. Uh, you can see their uh, stats definitely favor uh, SP and res along with int. Sweet Aroma heals allies at the end of the turn, adjacent allies that is. Prevention prevents ailments to adjacent allies. Relaxation halves the SP consumption of adjacent allies. And herbal therapy increases the element affinities of adjacent allies. So yeah, just uh, 
keep them around and they will do a pretty good job of buffing without even having to use up their SP. Let's take our plant monster to the battlefield. This is the wrong battlefield, but whatever. And let's see what they can do. Let's play. Feast Slasher. That's what I call flower power. Spiral needle. But this isn't a drill. <laughs> Let's Not so much in the attack, but in the description. Thorny Blaster is perfect for making the final blow. There's our drill. Flower Profusion. Let's Do not mess with plants is what we are learning here. Alright, let's magic chain and see the rest of your Let skills. Good. Floor beasts, uh, again, magic change to staves. So we're gonna see some magic. Flower wave inflicts poison. Go now. Very spinny sort of flower. Twin Heart Attack. Let's sleep. Here I go. The power of a power. It's the companion cube. <laughs> Unintentional portal shout out. Yay. Alright, our final, uh, our final monster for today is colloquially known as a chicken. It's a dirty bird that harbors ill fortune, releases dark miasma for no good reason. <laughs> you imagine change the spears and they learn the blank out spell, it inflicts uh, amnesia. They are physical though, as you can see, and... Their abilities, oh man, these guys are about as annoying as Mothman. Wrong menu. Miasmo's silence prohibits special skill use by adjacent enemy units. Given how many chickens there are in the in this game, it's a big problem. Miasmo of Lays halves the speed of adjacent enemies. Miasmo of Darkness uh, doubles the stat reduction from the uh, depraved status. Miasma of Defiance uh, decreases the element stats of adjacent enemies by 50%. I would assume that means 50 percentage points, uh, which we can easily verify by just going into the battlefield. So let's do that. Chicken! I, uh, I forgot to equip the ability. Oh, this is embarrassing. Huh. 
Yep, minus 50 percentage points. Chicken Cyclone! Did you know that chickens are the masters of inverse kinematics? <laughs> no matter how you move their body, they are capable of keeping their head in the exact same position. It's pretty amazing. Boomerang Band, let's get free. Shout out to that old, uh, that old, uh, folk tale, I guess. That's what you would call it. City Dragger. Sure is a thing. You, you just don't attack? Okay. Descending Phoenix! It's fire type. Is there any eggs? Who are you, Kazooie? <laughs> I think a good name for a chicken, actually. I uh, actually bothered to make one of them. <clears throat> All right, finally, let's take a look at his magic change skills. Chickens, I think I've already said this, but they magic change to spears. Die. It's the beak bayonet. <laughs> Break shot. Oh, no, we're channeling Lord English. Reverse egg. Ugh. Let me show you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the opposite of Yoshi. All right, let's uh, nah. use this attack. So yeah, that was our uh, our first ten monsters. We've got let's count them. Nine monsters to go, and then the DLC classes, and that will be it. Aren't you guys excited? It's amazing how much progress we can make. Bye bye for now. <laughs>